Honorable Senators, I will now call upon the leadership to offer remarks for our, our new Senator, Lofrida. Senator Harder. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, colleagues, it's uh, a more intimate gathering. Uh, and uh, this is the 50th time I've had the honor of walking up the uh, aisle uh, with a new Senator. Uh, and it's... Uh, It's, it's uh, indeed an honor as the still government representative uh, to do so today and to give a welcome, a bienvenue, a, a, a benvenuto uh, at our newest, uh, to our newest colleague, the Honorable Senator Tony Lafreda, here to represent, as we heard just moments ago, his province of Quebec and the division of Shawinigan. The Senator Lafreda apporte de profondes connaissances en affaires et compte 35 ans d'expérience dans le secteur financier. Mais sa nomination est un reflet de beaucoup plus que des contribu contributions au monde, monde des affaires. His philanthropic contributions are truly impressive and demonstrate how committed he is to the well-being of his community, his city, his province, and his country. Lorsqu'il était vice-président du Conseil, Gestion de patrimoine de la Banque Royale du Canada, Senator Lofreda a présidé ou a co-présidé plus d'une centaine d'initiatives qui ont profité à des collectivités et à des gens dans le besoin. Un grand cœur et d'intelligence font de bons parlementaires. Et le sénateur Lofreda a déjà démontré une solide compréhension du rôle d'un sénateur lorsqu'il a dit récemment en entrevue « Quatre sénateurs » et je cite « Il ne s'agit pas seulement d'avoir une opinion, mais de faire preuve de jugement. » I couldn't agree more. Senator, we welcome you to this chamber. We look forward to your contributions to our deliberations and uh, thank you for your family's uh, indulgence uh, as this will uh, cost uh, them time with you, but we benefit with that time. Thank you. Senator Platt. Thank you, Your Honor. Although I... Uh, I'm not sorry that Senator Harder won't be bringing any more senators into the chamber. I wish it was for different reasons than what, uh, what, uh, what they are. Uh, Senator Harder, it's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, honorable senators, I want to begin by welcoming all of you back to this chamber after an extended break. I hope you had a good summer and are ready for a productive session of Parliament. It is with great pleasure that I rise today to welcome our newest colleague to this chamber, the Honorable Tony Lafreda. Senator Lafreda, congratulations on your appointment and welcome to the Senate of Canada. I know that you've had a few months since your appointment in July to begin to get orientated. But I also know how challenging it can be as you adjust to your new responsibilities as a senator. I want to assure, assure you, Senator, that you are surrounded by friends and colleagues on both sides of this chamber who are happy to provide you with whatever assistance we can. I know I speak for all Senators when I say don't hesitate to reach out to any of us at any time. Colleagues, as you have already heard, Senator Lafreda's credentials are long and well established. Most recently, he was Vice Chairman of RBC Wealth Management. Before that, he was a Regional Vice President with RBC. He was a Senior Manager with the National Bank of Canada for many years. And prior to that, he was Senior Audit Manager with Raymond Chabot Grant Thornton. But despite Senator Lafreda's significant professional achievements, it is clear that he never lost his connection to his community and to those who are in need. He is well known for his years of dedicated service to the Italian community, to his city of Montreal, and to the province of Quebec, which is clearly demonstrated by his long track record of philanthropy and volunteer efforts. In fact, 
I counted 21 boards and committees that Senator LaFreda has served on. These include such things as sports, health care, economic development, performing arts, fundraising to fight autism and cancer, and many more. All of this demonstrates the wealth of knowledge and experience that Senator LaFreda brings to this chamber. But it also shows the level of respect that he has gained from his fellow Canadians, a respect which has been repeatedly evidenced by the many awards Senator LaFreda has received. There are simply too many awards to mention, to mention, but they include the Quebec Lieutenant Governor's Gold Medal, the Canadian Senate's 150 Medal, and the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal. Senator LaFreda was also a recipient of the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award in 2014, which recognizes individuals who have made a significant, sustained, unpaid contribution to their community. It was noted that Senator LaFreda was a shining example of this. Honorable Senators, we know that winning the confidence of Canadians is not always easy. Yet in a parliamentary democracy, such confidence is critically important. I am delighted that Senator LaFreda brings to this chamber not only his professional experience and ex expertise, but a resounding endorsement from those he will be representing. Senator LaFreda, I have every confidence that you will be a strong voice for your city and for your region, and that you will make a great contribution to your province, to your country, and to the Senate of Canada. On behalf of the Conservative Caucus, welcome to the Senate of Canada. Senator Saint-Germain. Honorable Senator Antonio Tony Lofreda, c'est en mon nom et en celui de tous les membres du groupe des sénateurs indépendants que je salue aujourd'hui votre nomination. Je salue aussi les 18 membres de votre famille venus assister à cet événement mémorable. Une nomination amplement méritée qui vient culminer un riche parcours professionnel et philanthropique au cours duquel vous avez œuvré dans de nombreux domaines, notamment ceux de la finance, du commerce, de la santé et de la culture. Votre engagement communautaire est exemplaire et il a été salué à juste titre lors de l'annonce de votre nomination. Le Sénat a le mandat fondamental de représenter les diverses communautés minoritaires du Canada. En tout point, votre parcours vous a conduit à devenir un porte-étendard pour ces communautés ainsi que pour les personnes vulnérables et les sans voix. Vous avez solidement représenté les intérêts des minorités linguistiques et culturelles, particulièrement ceux de la large communauté italo-québécoise et italo-canadienne. En devenant aujourd'hui le premier sénateur d'origine italienne né au Canada, vous donnez à cette communauté une source additionnelle de fierté. Today is an important day not only for you, as it is your first time sitting in this chamber but also for all of us. Today marks the first day of a new parliament. It is the first change of legislature since the Senate reform began, began in 2015. Senator Lofreda, you are coming at quite an exciting time in Senate history. There has never been more diversity in the Senate than in the one that is gathered today. Whether it be in the diversity in the representation of indigenous peoples, of women, in the expertise of senators, in the diversity of linguistic minorities. The Senate reform has just begun. It has yet to be finalized, and there is a long road still ahead. But I believe this 43rd Parliament is a time of opportunity for all of us to contribute to these ongoing changes. In this new chapter, Senator Lofrida, your experience will undoubtedly be an important asset. It is a well-kept secret that here in the Senate, we senators work very hard. As your long and fruitful career has shown, you're no stranger to either of those things. Your versatility and your work ethic will fit perfectly in this institution. 
For those reasons, I'm confident you will provide a strong and long-lasting contribution to the work of the Senate. Please be welcome. Senator Tannis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Lafreda, welcome. You, uh, you arrive here on a uh, special day in what I expect will be a special parliament, an unusual parliament. Um, when I read your biography uh, uh, on the day of the announcement, I noted uh, the depth of your career. You're a fellow traveler in the financial services industry. You are an accountant uh, by training, good with numbers. Um, that will stand you well here. There is a lot of calculating goes on here. Uh, and um, we're glad to have you. Your skills and perspective are welcome here and they're needed here. Uh, welcome, sir, on behalf of our group. Senator Day. Merci, Monsieur le Président, honorable collègue. On behalf of the Progressive Senate Group, I would like to welcome all senators back to this chamber. I am pleased to join uh, Senators Harder, Plett, uh, Saint Germain, and Tannis in welcoming you. Senator Lofreda, we welcome you to this chamber. There's little more I can add to what my colleagues have already uh, said about your accomplished life uh, before your arrival here today. We congratulate you for that, and we thank you for agreeing to serve in the Senate of Canada. I would, however, like to reflect a moment on why we are all here. Our primary purpose is a scrutiny of uh, legislation with what Sir John A. Macdonald uh, called sober second thought. We, pr we propose amendments to bills when we feel those amendments are necessary or desirable. We advocate for minorities, such as Indigenous peoples, women, and persons with disabilities. We represent our regions and their place in Confederation. While we fulfill that traditional rule, we are changing and modernizing how this chamber operates in order to better reflect the expectation of Canadians. We have seen some very recent changes, and with the creation of the new Canadian Senators Group under the leadership of Senator Tannis and Werner, and with the creation of our new parliamentary group, the Progressives, and with the election of a new leader, of the opposition, Senator Plett. I would also like to take a moment to thank uh, Senator Harder and his leadership team for the work uh, as a government representative over the past uh, four years, Senators Benamal and Mitchell, for the role each has played in the last parliament, and also Senator Smith and your leadership, uh, so well uh, displayed here with your, your team. But we must never forget that in spite of our fundamental goal, it remains to make our provinces, our regions, and our country a better place for Canada. Senator uh, uh, Lofredo, je suis certain que votre expertise sera un atout pour nous dans le travail que nous accomplirons à l'avenir. Encore une fois, le groupe progressiste vous souhaite la bienvenue au Sénat du Canada. Mes collègues et moi nous réjouissons à l'idée de collaborer avec vous. Bienvenue. Honorable Senator, I propose that the Senate se join jusqu'à plus tard aujourd'hui à 14h30. Honorable Senator Mitchell propose a prayer for Honorable Senator Harder. 
que le Sénat adjourne jusqu'à plus tard aujourd'hui à 14h30. Vous plaît-il, l'honorable sénateur, de dater la motion? Adopté carried conformément à l'ordre de votre honorable chambre, je déclare le Sénat adjourné jusqu'à plus tard aujourd'hui à 14h30 par décision du Sénat.